Okay, I'm going to have a quick look at how to make an orthographic drawing from your 3D model. So here's a 3D model of a uh, perfume bottle. I'm going to basically come up to the top here and I'm going to choose New Drawing from Design. It's saying, do I want the full assembly, which means do I want to include the top and the bottom? I do, so I'm going to say OK. So that's generated a um, sheet for me. Now, all I need to check first of all, if I go into my settings, so Drawing Settings, and just check that I've got a sheet size of A3. The rest of it pretty much you can leave as it is. It should already say third angle ISO and M MM for millimeters because we set that when you did the original drawing. I'm going to close this. I'm not concerned about the block. We're not going to use it in the end anyway. We're going to get rid of that. But um, I'm going to start actually um, zooming a little bit so you can see a bit better. And I'm going to um, start putting the picture down. So where it says views, I click the base view. And all it's going to do is basically you can see it's trying to position it. Now when I'm trying to position it, it shows it as three in 3D with color, but it's actually going to be in 2D lines. Um, I've decided that that's too small. The scales are half, so I'm going to change it back to one to one. So that's full size. So I just want to make sure I can fit them all on the page. So pretty much that's my front view. I'm going to click there. I know it's front view because in the orientation box over on the right here, it says front. I'm now going to click on this next one, which is a projected view. That's going to basically say, which thing do I want to project? I've only got the one, so I'm going to click on it. This is the parent now. You can see as I drag out, it puts a line, so it deliberately lines things up for me, which is great. That's what I want it to do. So I'm going to position that one about there. Click again. I'm going to come up now to the top, and that's what it looks like from above. So again, I'm going to position it roughly where I like it. Click it. And then finally, I'm going to put it over here somewhere, and this is going to give me an isometric view of it. So again, I'm going to click. Once I've done all of that, I just right click and say OK. Now you can see straight away it turns them back into black and white lines, which is basically what we want from orthographic drawing. What we do need to do now though is we want to put some dimensions on. We want to know how big various parts of it are, the useful things to know. Now there's different ways of doing um, dimensioning. The most straightforward one is this one called linear. And linear is basically to do a straight line. So I'm going to choose that one first of all, and I'm going to measure the height. So I'm going to go from this middle here. You can see that green triangle means that's the midpoint. I'm going to click once. I'm going to move up to the top. There's the next one. Click again. And now if I drag to the side, you can see it's already dimensioning for me. I'm going to click there. That's given me the height of the bottle. I don't need to do that height dimension again anywhere else because that's already shown now. Um, what might be useful now is to show the height of the, um, of the lid. So again, I'm going to click on the linear dimension again. I'm going to go on this side. I'm going to click the top of this bit and the bottom of this bit, and I'm going to drag across. Now we know that this bottle is the same height and everything because it's lined it all up for me, and it's just a different view of the same thing. What we don't know are the dimensions of this um, circle. If we look at the lid from above, we see the different um, aspects of it, the top, the middle, and the bottom, which are these three circles. So this time I'm going to use a... Um, a radial dimension. I'm going to do the radius. So I'm going to click on radius and I'm going to choose the inner circle first and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag outwards. I'm going to click again and it's put the radius in. Now you can't see very well at the moment. I'll zoom in afterwards and you can see a bit better. But that's telling me there's a radius of 7.5. I'm going to go for the radius again. I'm going to choose the next circle out. I'm going to pull my line out, decide where I'd like to position it something like that, click again, so that one's 19.15, I'm going to do it one more time for the outside radius, and I'm going to put that one in as well. So I could have, if I wanted to, have done diameter, but I didn't want to do that. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to label the views. So I've got a, a front, um, I've got a side, and I've got a top view. So I'm just going to go for this one with a text on it, I'm going to click the text button, and I'm going to drag somewhere around here and drag out a kind of uh, the shape that I'm looking at click again so that's where it's going to put the words in I'm going to type them in so that's my front view when I'm happy with that I'm just going to um, click off it I'm going to click and same thing again so I have to reselect this tool each time and I'm going to drag my one over here click again I'm going to say side view click off and one more time I'm going to come up here and this is now my plan view or my top view I'm going to call it plan view click off. Now they're not quite lined up so I'm going to move and modify things in a moment to kind of select them and make them look a bit tidier but you get the idea of that. 
So the easiest way to do this, if I uh, show this side view f first of all, I'm going to actually I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use the roller of my mouse to actually zoom in. You can see where it says side view now is much bigger. I'm going to choose the modify, which is the move. I'm going to select the object, and then it's going to basically ask me if I right click and say continue. It's going to say find a base point. It doesn't really matter where it is. I'm going to go for that bottom of the S. Click on there, and then I can move this across to roughly where I want it to go click a second time and you can see I've moved the text now to actually make that a little bit more central to my drawing I can roll back out again and I can see uh, I'm going to probably do the same thing now for these other two just to tidy them up so that's my drawing pretty much finished um, I can zoom in and check any of these dimensions um, make sure I see what if it looks correct and if I'm happy with everything um, basically I want to save my drawing so I'm going to output that now I'm just going to escape to get rid of this selection I've got output things here, I can do DWG or I can do PDF, I'm going to go for PDF at the moment, so I'm going to create a PDF file of my drawing, so I'm going to put this into my folder, so I've got it into my graphics folder under my final designs, I'm just going to call this one uh, Dimensioned Bottle and hit save, and I'm going to show you a neat way of uh, editing that in a moment. So this is the um, PDF it's created. So if I open that PDF, um, this is what my bottle design looks like. That's all great. I'll show you a little trick here, which is really useful to know. If you go File, Save As, and instead of choosing PDF, you go for an image and you say a JPEG, it'll turn that JPEG into a, um, an image file. So I'm going to say Save it in the same place, hit Save. Now I'm just going to close this down. I'm going to open Photoshop. So here's Photoshop, double click, and I'm going to open that dimension JPEG. So I just saved that from this um, PDF. There it is. Now I don't want any of this border stuff because I'm going to stick it into one of my publisher's sheets. You're going to do the same thing so it comes out in your nice templated portfolio. I'm just going to use the cropping tool and I'm going to crop around the bits I don't want. So I've just got the actual drawing itself. That's about perfect. I can hit the tick and I can save this as a new version, file, save as, and just call it upper 2 on the end, dimension bottle 2. So I know then that I can insert that JPEG image straight into my publisher portfolio, and that's my orthographic drawing done. All dimensioned, all lined up in the correct Australian standards. It's as easy as that. Good luck.